All right, Muley Madness friends, I'm gonna show you guys how I made my homebrew phone scope for my spotter. Um, first of all, I use an iPhone, this is an iPhone 5S, so uh, this only works for my iPhone 5, it, it'll work for a 5 or a 5S. If you have something different, you'll have to figure out uh, your own method, but you can figure it out pretty easy from what I'm gonna show you here. So what I first did, um, I kind of cheated a little bit. It's not a complete home brew, even though it would be easy to uh, make your own case. But what I did is I bought this little hookups. I got this online from Adorama.com for $13.79 free shipping. So less than 14 bucks. And this is what it looks like when they send it to you. So. That's exactly what you're going to get. Um, and then what I did is I just removed, this fits a bino right here. I didn't care for my binos as much. I wanted it for my spotter. So I just removed that little eyepiece right there. I stuck my little X-Acto uh, knife in between right there and just popped that off. You can see here, uh, I don't know if you can see that very well, but um, it's kind of blurry, huh? Um, but anyway, you can see here it's attached in there. It's kind of a hexagon uh, shape. And so anyway, I just popped that off. And then I filed it a little bit. And what I did is I went to Home Depot and I bought just, this is just a PVC right here, end cap, um, inch and a half end cap, PVC. I bought that and then what I did is I sanded the back side so it would fit nice and flat. The reason I sanded it is I wanted it a little bit thinner on the back side here than what it was. It was a little thicker. So I, I made it thin. You don't have to do that, but I did. And then I just Gorilla glued it right back on to the original piece right here. So again, the little one's taken off. I Gorilla glued it back on right there. And voila. Now the only other thing I did is I took a piece of rubber gasket that's on the inside here and I cut it down so it's a nice suction fit. I'll show you in just a second on the end of my eyepiece right here. And so I just uh, glued that in, cut it to size. The silver marks are just to mark on my spotter where kind of the sweet spot is where that's where I want it to fit on how far I want it to go on, and also the right uh, vertical lineup, because I always want to shoot my video, video with my phone in the vertical position. I don't want it horizontal. Uh, some guys do that, I don't like it at all. So that's what the markups are for on my spotter and on the eyepiece here. So what I do, uh, when, you buy, when you buy this from Adorama, the hookups, this little cheap case comes with it. You can buy this on Amazon for like two bucks if you lose them or tear them. They're way cheap. So all you're gonna do is slip your iPhone in the case. Get it the right way there. I just slip that inside the case. All I do is slip that inside my little homebrew I've made, okay? And then all I'm gonna do next here is slide that over the end of my spotter. And again, I have the, the marks lined up. It's got a nice suction feel. I just slide it to where that's about right. And that's it. Um, you're ready to go. Now obviously, I, this is just sitting on my table, but you'd have this on your tripod. And turn your, turn your phone on and start recording, and it's, it's that easy. Now, why, do I, why did I do this? First of all, I just like doing my own stuff. I like doing my homebrew stuff, my do-it-yourself. But this little adapter I made, there's a few reasons I like this. I know there's a lot of guys that make these and sell them. Uh, they're quite a bit more expensive than this. Um, one reason I like this is this little guy right here is 1.9 ounces. Yeah, you got it. It is way, way light. I love it. You can hardly feel it so light. 
Another reason I like it is it's only like a quarter or a half case. That means it's easier to fit almost anywhere. I can, I can put that in my pocket, my, my pants pocket, a shirt, shirt pocket, uh, anywhere I want. I mean, it's small, really small, really lightweight, and it works flawlessly. I mean, it honestly works perfect. I've tried it a couple times. I'm way happy with it. Um, and I just like doing my own thing. So I just wanted to try it and I was really happy how it turned out. So anyway, you don't have to buy the hookups. You can go buy a hard case, cut the hole in it and cut it in half if you want, or just keep the whole hard, whole hard case and just cut the hole and uh, glue it on to PVC end. Put some rubber in and you're done. Um, one other thing I want to show you here that maybe you guys don't know, I would be, I learned this recently and I, it's way cool. Again, this is just an iPhone, um, but once you've got it on your, on your spotter there, oh, and by the way, once it's on my spotter, I mean, that thing is, it's solid. It's not going anywhere. It is way suctioned on, way tight. Um, very cool, not coming off. Now, here's the cool thing I want to show you. This is your simple uh, headphones, okay, that come with the iPhone. Now, here's the cool part. This is the newer version. Well, I don't know if it's the latest version, but it's got the little volume control, plus and minus, right on the headphones with your ear earpieces. So all you have to do is plug that into your phone and check this out. Turn your phone on, and obviously I'm got I don't have I'm not looking at anything. But here's the cool part: you can shutter your phone. This is a shutter release with your volume control. So all you've got to do is push the plus sign. Boom! It shutters a picture. Put it in video mode. Push the plus sign. You're recording HD video. Push the negative sign on your volume control. You stop your video. It's way cool. You'll never have trouble with blurry pictures because you're touching your phone with your finger and they don't turn out good. Plug your, your uh, headphones in, shutter it with the plus sign. It's way cool, it works flawless. Trust me, try it out if you have an iPhone 5, 5S. Uh, you just need the newer headphone with the plus and minus volume control. So anyway, I hope that all made sense. Um, that's my home brew. I'll, I'll get some videos up online to show you some of the quality stuff I'm getting with it. And if you're interested, check it out. Try, one, make, try and make one yourself. Over and out.